Hey everyone, Ghost Moon here, and welcome back to my channel, Everyday Backpacker. In tonight's episode of Gear Shorts, I'm coming to you from my kitchen because I want to talk to you about two small but yet very important additions I've recently made to my backcountry kitchen. Now for me, in my experience in the backcountry, I don't generally do a whole lot of organizational things, but when it comes to my backcountry kitchen, I'm extra organized. I think this is because that, frankly, when I get to camp, the last thing I want to do is try to find all of my camp stuff to put it together to make my kitchen in order to be able to make my food. I want to get to that food as quickly as possible. And so for me, I generally spend a little bit more time and effort in organizing my camp kitchen. And because last year I made some pretty big changes to my camp kitchen overall, I was excited this year to add a couple of hilltop pack bags to add to the overall organization of my kitchen setup. So one of the coolest things that I've seen from Hilltop Packs recently is their line of ultra specialized Dyneema stuff sacks for various pieces of equipment that often get overlooked. And so I decided I wanted to kind of pick up a few of those. And so I've got these two bags here. So this one is specifically a stuff sack for pot sets. And in this case is pot set number, pot size number two for I believe 700 to 750 milliliter pots. And then this little guy here is a stuff sack specifically for stoves. This is the size medium for use with my particular stove, which in this case is the Pocket Rocket Deluxe. So let's take a look at these little stuff sacks, how they measure up, what they're useful for, and why I decided to put them into my camp setup. Okay, so first let's take a look at my current camp setup. First I have my titanium, I'm sorry, um, aluminum spoon here long handled. This one doesn't get included in this kit, so we're just gonna set this aside. The main part of the kit, of course, is gonna be my Tokes Titanium 750 milliliter pot. I just recently switched from the MSR Titan tea kettle pot to this, and so far I'm pretty happy with it. Second, we have my stove, which in this case is the MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe. Now, of note, it comes with this really heavy duty, almost canvas-like cover, but the stove itself does fold up pretty small and takes up not too a whole much space. But this is the stove that I use. And of course, then there is the fuel canister itself, as well as my collapsible Sea to Summit mug. Yes, this is a little bit extraneous, but as I've explained in past videos, I do like this thing, so it's along for the ride. All right, let's take a look at the bags themselves. The first one is the stove bag in size medium. This again is made out of Dyneema composite material and it currently retails at $13 per bag. This is the pot uh, stuff sack and this particular one is size number two. Again, it's made out of Dyneema material and this particular pack comes in at $18. Now, of course, each pack, again, is made out of Dyneema composite material, and it has a simple drawstring and slide loop across the top there. So let's get down to the nitty-gritty here. All right, so I got my trusty scale here, and it's currently set to ounces, and let's see where the pot bag comes in at. And it looks like it's a whopping 0.1 ounces. As for the even smaller stove bag also 0.1 ounces so in total i'm adding about 2.2 uh, ounces to this overall equation all right so i went ahead and weighed these and in general they're so light that they have a hard time showing up on my scale but in general each one is about 0.1 ounces so for a total weight added to my total pack system we're looking at about 0.2 ounces which doesn't make up a whole lot of weight all right so let's take a look at how my pack or kitchen system works. First off, obviously we have the pot, and inside that pot, I slip into the fuel canister. And on top of that, the stove actually fits very nicely into the pot, which is something I wasn't able to do with my Titan. The lid does sit on side, but doesn't stay completely solid. And then of course, there's no place for my mug. Uh, it does not fit into this particular setup. All right, so let's first take a look at the stove bag itself. Why do I need this stove bag? Well, 
if you put the stove into the system by itself, it definitely moves around in there quite a bit and without padding can potentially scratch and damage the pot as well as the stove itself. But then again, it does come with its own stuff sack. The problem with its own stuff sack is it's really pretty bulky and heavy. And once it's in there, it's actually very difficult to fit into the pot itself as well as to get the lid on. So instead, by using the Hilltop Pax version, there's much less material there. It is lighter weight. And because it is a thinner material, it fits more readily into the pot. And again, it's really there more for protecting the stove and the pot from being damaging each other. And then it's easier to get that lid put on top of it. Additionally, the stuff sack that it comes with weighs 0.6 ounces, whereas this one weighs 0.1 ounce. Again, not a huge amount of difference, but they do add up. And so, in general, I think that this stuff sack, although very protective, is just not very practical. All right, so now that everything is safely nested inside the pot and the lid is on, this comes into play, which is the pot bag itself. So why did I go to the effort of creating a bag when everything is pretty much self-sufficiently sealed in its own little case here? Well, if you'll notice, the lid doesn't stay on very well. And I also have the additional added issue with the mug here. So this particular pot has enough room that I'm able to put my mug down in the bottom. And then the pot itself slides into this bag. And then the drawstring cinches everything together. So everything is basically held together in a nice, neat little package. Ta-da! So what's the point of all this extra added stuff? What's the point of keeping everything together and organized? Well, in my case, it's actually pretty simple. You see, here in grizzly bear country, we do practice the art of what's known as the Bermuda Triangle, which is a little bit of a play on words. But basically what it means is that we set up our camp, and then we go about 100 yards away to cook our food. And then from there, we go another 100 yards in the opposite direction so that we create a triangle. Um, and that third place is to store our food at the end of the night, basically to keep all of the smells away from our campsite, basically to try to create a higher margin of safety for us overall. And so I found that in order to go over there, I have to bring my bear canister, my food inside of it, usually a chair, and then all of my camp stuff, or kitchen, camp kitchen stuff as well. And that got a little bit cumbersome to kind of carry around. So being able to put everything into a handy sandy stuff sack with a little nice cord here to carry around, it just makes things a lot easier to carry over to that area. Generally makes life a lot easier. And that's one of the things I really appreciate about Hilltop Packs is that they have that attention to detail. They make very specific bags to fill very specific roles. Not everybody's gonna need those rolls, but in my case, these make life a little bit easier. And overall, I'm really impressed by the construction of them. They're very well made, and you know they're going to um, add to the protection and organization of my camp system, which I think is pretty awesome. And lastly, I wanted to mention one more thing about Hilltop Packs as a company. So if you follow me on any of my other social media, you know that the making of this particular video was lightly, slightly delayed because the US Postal Service decided for some reason that one of my packages needed to be sent off to an entirely different city in Montana than the one I'm located in. Nice little detour, but pretty much a pain in my butt. Now I posted to that same social media my frustration with the US Postal Service, and the owner of Hilltop Packs, Ben, contacted me and very graciously said, let me know what you've ordered and I'll send you a new one. I told him to go ahead and wait because this is the Postal Service's problem, not his, and I didn't want him to necessarily go out of pocket to send me another uh, product. But to me, it just goes to show you just how important customer service is to this company. He was willing to do that for me in order to make sure I got the right product in a situation that wasn't even his fault. And so personally, that endeared me to his company, and that is one of many reasons why I will be a customer of theirs for life. And there you have it. These are probably two of the smallest additions to my gear uh, inventory this year, but honestly, two of the ones that I'm the most excited for. 
because they're going to solve a problem that I have dealt with over the years and also allow me to protect some new equipment that I have that I want to last for a long time. I hope you found this video interesting and useful and I definitely recommend that you check out Hilltop Packs because they have a line of equipment that I think you'll find very useful and their customer service is second to none. Thanks, keep hiking on.